Okay, I'm gonna kind of speed through me doing my base because it's really boring, just so you know. So I'm gonna start with the Nivea Men's Shave Balm. It kind of went crazy on YouTube a while back for being a good primer. It does have a lot of glycerin in it, so if it breaks you out, that's probably why. Glycerin can break some people out, but I don't seem to have a problem with it. And I'm just going to rub it on with my beauty blender. I'm just gonna speed through my base because it's like the most boring and it's pretty basic, but I kind of want to explain why I'm gonna do certain things um, with my base, if that makes sense. <laughs> then I'm gonna go ahead and use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Liquid Foundation. This is in Cream Beige. This is my shade when I'm tan. I'm just gonna pluff this onto my face just a little bit at first and then I'm gonna slowly build it up. I did a whole other video of why I really recommend this foundation for raves or festivals or anything like that so if you want to check that video out I will leave it linked down below but I if you're looking for a full coverage but lightweight drugstore foundation that's going to last then this is definitely the one that I recommend so I'm gonna do another layer and I like how buildable it is I like a foundation that I can um, put on a little bit at a time so that's amazing Then I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 25 Medium and just right on this inner corner. I don't really like need a lot of coverage right here. I just need something to kind of cancel out the darkness around my eyes. And then I'm going to set my face with the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. I'm just going to go ahead and use a really light amount of this powder because I don't want to like cake my face with powder and create like a, a hot cakey mess. Just a really light layer. And I kind of focus it in the center of my face because we are going to put like bronzer and stuff on and that's going to powder, you know, the perimeter and stuff like that. So I'm just going to focus it on the center and we're good to go with that. I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match Powder in Natural. This is a deeper shade. Well, it probably honestly almost matches me when I'm tan. I love the L'Oreal powders for face powders and for bronzers. I think they're gorgeous. They're just that really nice natural powder. They're not super mattifying, but they're not shimmery in any way. It just looks like skin, which is pretty much the point. So L'Oreal kind of nailed it with that one. And it's, I think, the hell froze over because I'm not even going to highlight what. You'll kind of see why. There's kind of a point. But I'm not going to highlight today. <laughs> I think that something is wrong in the cosmos. I'm going to use this NYC oh, Mosaic Wheel, this little blush wheel. It's really pretty. It gives a little bit of a sheen, but there's no glitter or anything in it. And it's, it looks really pink in the pan, but it comes out a really natural tone, especially when I'm this tan. Again, just to give a little bit of shape. I always wear blush. I'm just a blush person. I know that some people like almost never wear blush and if you don't wear blush then don't wear blush. I'm just a blush girl. I think I look more alive with blush. Boom, just a little bit just to put some blush on my cheeks. Now I'm going to use what I normally use for my brows, which is the Zoeva Brow Spectrum Palette and the L'Oreal Stylist Plumper, but I'm going to do my brows off camera because they suck and I'm always out of frame when I'm trying to do them on camera, so maybe one of these days I'll actually be good at this and show you how I do my brows because if you can't tell already, they're little nubs and I make them look halfway decent, so be right back. Okay, they're not perfect, but they never are, so it's whatever. I'm going to throw on some mascara because I am going to put on lashes. I'm just going to put on the top and bottom. I'm not doing any eyeshadow with this look. 
at all. I'm just gonna keep it really lashy. So I found these cute heart stickers. I think I might have to um, use lash glue on them anyway, but I like the colors and I loved the size. Sometimes it's really hard for me to find really small things. Like I don't like big chunky like rhinestones or anything like that. I like stuff that's really small. They're just these cute little stickers and they're really f like, they're, they kind of bubble up but like barely at all. So I'm gonna use these on my back. So I'm gonna use these and I'm gonna try to just stick them on, but if I feel like they're not secure enough, then I'm gonna use lash glue. So, and I think I'm just gonna do all of these colors. Like I wanna do a little rainbow thing around my eyes. So I'm probably just gonna like speed through this kind of thing, like just so you can watch me do it and I won't talk because I'm gonna need to kind of focus on this a little bit. So let's get going. Okay, and I found these random ass glitters like just in my little glitter and rhinestones things. I don't know where these are from or why they're so tiny, but I'm gonna use these. It's like a cute little pinky purple and like orange and yellow glitters. 
So I'm just gonna mix these together and put them on the other side of my face where I would regularly highlight. Now I'm going to throw on a pair of lashes. You don't have to if you don't want to or if you don't feel comfortable wearing lashes, if you don't regularly wear lashes, but since I didn't do anything on my eye, I don't, since I didn't do any eyeshadow, I'm just going to throw on the lashes to kind of make them look a little bit more alive, especially like, I don't know, if you wear lashes on a daily basis like me, you kind of feel like nothing without lashes on. So if you don't wear lashes, don't start wearing lashes because then you can never not wear lashes. It's a sickness. It is a sickness. The best advice I can give you about wearing lashes with no liner, eyeshadow, or anything else on your eye is just to get in there with a lash tool or some tweezers. Be really careful if they're tweezers because you might stab yourself. But just get in there and really squeeze them close to your natural lashes as close as you can uh, so that there's no gapping or anything between the lash band and your actual lashes so you can't see like a little piece of skin or something in between the lashes. Boom. Okay, now here's the most important question of the day. Are you going to do a bold lip or a nude lip? I feel like I'm going to go with nude because that's just me. Mmm, that'd be kind of pretty, but like, more power to you if that's what you want to do, but I'm going to go with nude because I'm really boring. I'm going to start with Bel Air from Ofra and just throw this on. It's a little pink. It's a little pink, mostly nude. I'm going to throw this on and then line after. Then I'm going to go in with the tried and true number four from Milani. You can see that I use the absolute shit out of this lip liner and I'm just going to line around my lips and kind of give them a little bit more dimension. So this is where I'm going to leave this look. I think it's really pretty. Of course I go for something that's not matchy-matchy on both sides. Obviously you can replicate this on the other side. I think that would look really cool. Or just do glitter on both sides. Whatever you want to do. I think it's simple but effective. And that's what I pretty much say in all of my festival looks. Simple but effective. It's going to look really good in photos. It's going to wear nicely. It's going to be comfortable to wear. And you're colorful and you're beautiful. And I love this so i hope that you enjoyed this look i hope that you learned something or got inspired or 
anything. All the products that I use are going to be listed in the bottom bar below along with my Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat if you want to follow me on those things. I am the most active on Instagram just so you know. I always love to hear what y'all want to see so leave a comment down below of what you want to see next. I post videos every Tuesday and Saturday so keep a lookout for that. So I will see you again on Saturday. Bye guys!